In this video, we're going to discuss the evolution of motherboards and the effect that evolution has on the value. From left to right, we have five different examples of our socketed motherboards, starting with a large socket motherboard, a small socket P4, a metal socket motherboard, an I-series motherboard, and an AMD motherboard. The value from left to the right slowly decreases uh, as the manufacturers have figured out how to make these motherboards using less and less precious metals. This large socket motherboard, which was manufactured around the mid 90s, is a decent board. It has lots of IC chips on there. Uh, a lot of these flat packs. Uh, it has two decent sized gold tab BGAs. The gold pins inside these headers, I know it's difficult to see on the camera, but it has a nice, deep, rich gold color to them. So those are well plated. Same thing with inside these memory slots and expansion card slots. We also know that the receptors inside the large socket are also well plated, again, based on the age uh, and date of manufacturing. Now, as we go through time, we get into the P4 small socket era. It's still a plastic socket, uh, and as you'll see, it has a, a square here that represents about half the size of the socket. Um, so that's how we can tell that it's a P4 motherboard. Uh, but more importantly, you'll see that they're starting to use maybe a fewer IC chips and flat packs than on a large socket. Also, the uh, pins inside the memory slots here, they're only partially plated. You can actually see the tops of them are not gold, and the gold starts off about halfway down on the pin. And the same thing with the expansion slots. Only about half of the pin is, is plated on there. Uh, there is still a gold tab BGA here, but there is only one. And they're now starting to make use of what these uh, are known as um, flip chips and or uh, no gold BGAs. There's not a whole lot of value to this type of chip on here, and it's very prevalent on these newer styles. Now we are into the mid to upper 2000s, 2006, maybe 2007. This is now getting into the metal socket uh, era where the CPU sockets are now made out of these metal clasps and no longer do the CPUs contain pins. Instead, they are flat pads that rest on top of these very lightly plated springs. They're not as rich and they don't have as much surface area as the receptor sockets do in a pinned CPU socket. Uh, you see that they are still utilizing a gold tab BGA, but they are also relying on the flat, uh, the uh, BGA flip chip. And there are, although there are some IC chips and flat packs here, uh, they are uh, becoming fewer and fewer. The gold inside these pin headers, again, very difficult to see on camera, but it's not nearly as gold as it was back on the previous generations of motherboards. So they're starting to use less plating. They're using fewer chips and the chips that they are using are becoming less and less quality. And even the CPU sockets are starting to become less valuable. Now we're into a more modern era motherboard. This is probably 2014, 2015. And it is an i-series motherboard. It all It is a metal socket, just like the other one, but uh, it has a rectangular square in the center uh, versus a perfect square. But you'll see it also lacks any gold tab BGAs. The flip chip that it has is much smaller than on the other motherboard. And these chips here, these aren't even really gold bearing. These are more of a copper laden uh, recovery chip, uh, not necessarily ICs. And the few ICs and or flat packs that you'll find on this motherboard are very tiny. Not carrying a lot of value here. Even the, even the pins are no longer really gold plated. Um, they have a tinge to them. So I guess technically you can say they're gold, but uh, it's a very, very low quality gold. And, they don't, even, they don't even put gold on these ones here. 
And then lastly, this is the AMD motherboard. And really all of the same characteristics as the i-series motherboard apply, which is why they're in the same grade now. Not a lot of population here. The few IC and flat packs that they have are very tiny, very small flip chip. This does have a socket versus an LGA uh, style CPU holder, um, but the plating on this socket is about as good as the plating on these header pins, which again, probably doesn't show up very well on camera, but is very, very light. It has what, maybe one and a quarter expansion slot here. The pins in these expansion slots, as well as the memory slots, very lightly plated. So the manufacturers have learned over time how to make these motherboards really cheap. And that is why you can now go to Walmart and purchase a PC desktop computer for only a few hundred dollars, where back in the 90s when this board was made, that same computer would cost it easily over a thousand dollars or more just because the amount of metals, precious metals that they're using inside the manufacturing. So as scrap buyers, we are forced to adapt and grade accordingly based on the amount of materials that they're using in the motherboards. And as you can see, they have in fact evolved over time.